Now you know about how to calculate the intensity of different sounds. So humans can hear a really wide range of different intensities of sound. We can hear, if we've got good hearing, down to 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared, all the way up to an intensity of one watt per meter squared. One watt per meter squared is known as the threshold of pain because at this intensity, the pressure changes on your eardrum exert such a large force that it can start to do physical damage. So 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared is known as the threshold of hearing because this is the lowest intensity sound that a typical human with good hearing can detect. And we'll give it the symbol I subscript zero and we'll be use, making use of that later in this video. So because there is such a wide range of sounds that people can hear, scaling factors of 10, we generally use a logarithmic scale to describe sound levels. So the sound level is given in decibels and it's given the symbol beta. So the equation to calculate sound levels is given by beta is equal to 10 log to the base 10, the intensity divided by I naught, where I naught is that threshold of hearing. So in this equation, beta is the sound levels in decibels. The log is a logarithm to the base 10. I is the intensity of the sound that we're considering and as we've said I0 is 10 to the minus 10, 12, sorry, watts per meter squared. Okay, so to give you a feeling for the kinds of numbers that we're talking about, in decibels, zero decibels is the threshold of hearing. So that's the smallest sound that we can detect. 10 decibels is about how loud rustling leaves sound. A whisper is about 30 decibels. 60 decibels is normal com conversation, 80 decibels is loud traffic, 120 decibels is a loud rock concert and this is also known as a threshold of pain, 140 decibels is a jet aircraft taking off right over your head so that's above the threshold of pain so try not to experience that. Now the sounds that we can actually detect are related a bit to frequency. So human hearing is frequency sensitive. So this diagram here shows you the different sound levels we can detect at the different frequencies. Now it's really interesting, dogs and bats can actually hear much higher frequencies than people can. So you can get special dog whistles which are at a really high frequency which people can't detect. Younger people can also hear much higher frequencies than old people because they haven't had any damage to their hearing yet. The little hairs in their ears are not all stuck together and so they can detect higher frequencies. So there are some ringtones that students can get in classrooms which they can hear but the student can't. So if you have any stories about that, please feel free to share them with us. Okay, so now we've seen this equation, let's have a look at how we can solve a problem using it. So the question, a mother stands 2.0 meters away from her daughter who is practicing the clarinet. The sound level at the mother is 70 decibels. A, what is the intensity of the sound coming from the clarinet at the mother? B, if the mother now doubles her distance from the clarinet to four meters, what sound level does she detect now? State any assumptions that you make. Okay, so for part A, we're told the sound level is equal to 70 decibels, and we know that the distance is equal to two meters. We're going to need to make use of our sound level equation, that the sound level is equal to 10 log to the base 10 i, the intensity over the reference intensity I naught. Okay, so what we're trying to do is find I. So let's rearrange this equation to make I the subject. This will be a bit tricky if you're not too familiar with logarithms, so we'll take it step by step. Okay, so we've got beta over 10 is equal to log to the base 10 of I over I naught. Now to undo the log, we're going to want to raise each side to the power of 10. So we have 10 beta on 10 is equal to 10 
log 10 to the power of log to the base 10 i on i naught and this undoes this log so this is equal to i over i naught so this tells us that i the intensity is equal to i naught times 10 to the beta on 10. now in the equation in the question sorry we were given this beta and we know i naught that's the reference intensity it's 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared so we've got 10 to the minus 12 times 10 to the 70 on 10 which is equal to 10 to the minus 12 times 10 to the 70 on 10 which is 7 so this is equal to 10 to the minus 5 and that's watts per meter squared so we've got the intensity now which is what we were asked to find and then in part b says if the mother's now going to double her distance and we've got to calculate the sound level again and we need to state any assumptions we make so in the previously we've looked at what how intensity changes with distance and we've said that intensity is equal to p the power over 4 pi r squared and this power is staying constant so the intensity decreases as 1 on r squared where r squared is the distance so if we double the distance then the intensity goes down will be one quarter of um, the old intensity as we've doubled this distance here so to apply this equation we needed to make the assumption that the sound spreads out isotropically in three dimensions so assumed sound spread out isotropically in three dimensions okay so we know that it's one quarter so that tells us that the new intensity so the new intensity is equal to 0 0.25 times 10 to the minus 5 watts per meter squared okay so now we can calculate the sound level just by substituting into this equation here for the sound level so beta is equal to 10 log to the base 10 i nu on i zero and so this is equal to 10 log to the base 10 and we've got 0 0.25 times 10 to the minus 5 over 10 to the minus 12 and solving this on the calculator using the log button with log written on it not ln the natural log because this is log to the base 10 we end up with 64 decibels and that's given to two significant figures so that's how we go about solving this problem here. How about you try one now?